Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you two books, uh, both by the same artist. I'll do separate videos for each of them. They're the last of my books that was lost in the mail by Amazon. So I think most of people have heard my saga about this, that I've been waiting for them for months. So let's have a look at the Japanese girls first. So they're A4 sized. They're printed on trade stock quality paper, so it's white paper, very thin, pop some paper behind it. It's certainly worth it because these are gorgeous illustrations in a lovely grayscale and they're just beautiful. Images are printed on one side, so you can just pop that page under. And if you're wanting to dive into grayscale, there's a you know, a good one to get started with. Grayscale is actually quite tricky to achieve uh, to get the saturation of the grey right so that it's not too dark and not too shadowing but also not too light. And it's also, you know, helpful doing grayscale if you're like me and just a beginner and you need help with where you should shade and whatnot. Because the artist has done all the hard yards for you, basically. And it's just a matter of choosing your colours. Where it shows darker on the grey bit, that's where you use your darker pencils or the darker shade of your pencils. And, you know, obviously where it's lighter, you go light with your pencils. Now, saying that, I'm certainly not an expert in grayscale. And it's only recently that I've started colouring it myself but I can see that I am going to have a lovely time colouring these pictures because they are just stunning. They've also got a lot of, you know, large open spaces as well, which is great if your eyes are the best. So beautifully positioned and beautiful faces on these girls. They're just gorgeous. And they're so soft. The shading on this is not harsh at all. It's just so gentle and delicate. It's really, really beautiful. This is that cover photo. You see the darkness around the eyes where you go a bit darker with your shades and that little white outline around the lips and the darker bit to give it that dimension. It's even looking at a grey scale is like really helpful if you're just a beginner like me because you can sort of see, oh, uh, you know, this is how we get highlights or or different, you know, depth of colours. It's got a black backside on it, which is unusual. So these are the black sides and previously they were white. So I, you know, actually like it when there's two lots of images because I will make a mistake, you know, there's no doubt about that, and I'll wish for another picture so that I can colour it again. <laughs>
So it is nice that there's a double edition of them. Often the doubles are printed on a different colour background, but this artist has signified that this is the second picture in the book by doing the back of the page in black, which is, you know, quite, quite a, a good idea uh, when you're quickly going through the book. Now they've all been named, and so we can see their names here, and whether they're horizontal or vertical. I've never seen an artist actually distinguish that, you know, whether they're horizontal like that. And we've got some different information about the artist. She really is a talent, an absolute talent. I hope we see many more books from her. Plain paper at the back and a gorgeous coloured image. So there we have it. Our lovely book of Japanese girls by Iluk Ikuko. Probably not pronouncing that anyway near right trade stock paper 32 illustrations printed twice all in grayscale until next time happy coloring